Hey everyone, it's Dominique from Lafa, learning about Finland again. And I thought I would make some hummus to go with the tortilla chips that I've already made. So what you need are chickpeas. I'm using the ready to use ones already. I drained some of the liquid, but not all of it. So I will put it in my blender, which I have situated over here. So you need chickpeas, you need see where I can put you here. Uh, lemon juice. Give a hearty squeeze. Um, I didn't buy a fresh lemon because I only would have used it for this, so I figured this would be more smart in terms of saving money because I can use this for quite some time. Next I'll add some extra virgin olive oil. And also I will be adding some garlic. Where did it go? I'm going to mince it. I'm pretty sure my blender is strong enough, but just in case I will mince them. So what you want to do is put your garlic inside and then squeeze together and it will come out all goopy and mushed up. like such. So I'm putting about two cloves because I'm by myself. I'm not making a huge portion. I'm just going to take a spatula and push everything down. Next I'm going to add a bit of smoked salt. I got this from Ikea. It was a jarred set so this is oak smoked flaked salt which I really like. Put some of that in there. Oh, what else can I put in there? I could put some smoked paprika, but that would involve digging in my cupboard, and I forgot to take it out, and I actually might not have any left. Let's see. I have so many things in here. Hmm. I have quite a bit, so bear with me a moment here, because now that I think about it, um, I love having smoked, smoked paprika and smoked sea salt in my hummus. It's so good. But I think I might actually be out of smoked paprika, unfortunately. It is not mandatory. Oh, I have a little bit. It's not mandatory to put smoked paprika in hummus. If you like it that way, fine. If you don't, leave it out. The main thing, uh, the main ingredients are chickpeas, garlic, olive oil, lemon juice, salt, and a little bit of the water from the um, chickpeas, whether you've soaked them or you bought them already soaked and ready to go. But I like a little variety and then I'm going to blend it. I can't find the lid to my blender, but thankfully I found a lid that fits, so. Now I'm just going to take my spatula, mix it up a bit so it's, you want it to be like a dip. If you don't know what hummus is, it's, it's a vegan friendly dip. It's really healthy and full of protein and delicious and you can add other flavors like I'm doing with the smoked paprika. And it should be nice and smooth. I think I will add a little bit more olive oil I don't have any measurements for this, unfortunately. I'm just kind of winging it, like most of my cooking. All right. It's still a little chunky looking. 
so I may have to add just a little bit of water to smooth it out. Be right back. a little chunky looking so I'm going to keep adding a little bit of water and a little bit of oil until it's the consistency I like another option too is adding toasted sesame oil which I just remembered and it adds a nice flavor with the chickpeas so I'll add a bit of that just grab a little bit more water you don't want um, you don't want your hummus to be watery. That's not the point. It's supposed to be nice and smooth and thick like a dip because hummus is great um, as a spread, in a wrap, in a sandwich, um, on a slice of toast if you like, as a dip, uh, not just with tortillas or chips, but even um, with a pita bread or dipping your sandwich in it, for example, or with vegetables. scrape it down and then do one more blitz and then that should be good it looks a lot smoother so I'm really happy with this I'm not going to add any more water or um, oil to it I think it's fine as it is there we go so oh it smells great so this is hummus I'm going to put it into an airtight container, let it chill in the fridge, and then it'll be ready to go with my tortilla chips. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.